Welcome to TechUp. I'm your host, Sarah Ingram, and we're bringing you the latest in science and technology news, courtesy of our friends at Futurism. This week includes flying DNA in and out of space, making friends with dolphins, holograms that let you touch whatever you want, the future of our sentient computer soon-to-be overlords, and why you might want to stock up on sunscreen in the near future. During a recent rocket mission experiment, scientists discovered that DNA can survive takeoff and re-entry and still pass on genetic information. The DNA samples were applied to the outer shell of the Texas 49 rocket, and the salvaged DNA samples were still able to transfer genetic information to bacterial and connective tissue cells. The study provides experimental evidence that the DNA's genetic information is essentially capable of surviving the extreme conditions of space and the re-entry into Earth's dense atmosphere. Many scientists now believe it's possible for extraterrestrial DNA to reach Earth, and for our DNA to be left behind on landing sites. So we better get that in control, because, you know, aliens. A Japanese firm has devised a plan for an ocean spiral community that will reach nine miles to the seabed and could be ready as early as 2030. Each ocean spiral will be home to about 5,000 people according to Shimizu Corps, with each structure also incorporating businesses and office facilities, as well as hotels and entertainment. At the surface, the city will have a watertight floating dome that could be retracted beneath the surface in bad weather. Beneath, the spiral structure would descend as much as nine miles to the seabed, where an earth factory would produce methane from carbon dioxide by using microorganisms. A modern-day Atlantis with shopping and underground parks, and probably dolphins and mermaids waving at you while you get ready for work? Sign me up! ESA's Rosetta mission has soft-landed its probe on a comet, an extraordinary feat and the first time this has been done in human history. Rosetta was launched in March 2004 and traveled 6.4 billion kilometers through the solar system before arriving on the comet. After a tense wait during the seven-hour descent to the surface, the signal confirming the successful touchdown finally arrived on Earth. The probe detected organic molecules on the surface of the comet, the same molecules that were first detected in the comet's atmosphere. Controllers have since powered down the comet probe after its batteries fell to dangerously low levels. The craft still managed to transmit reams of crucial data to Earth, and is helping make huge revolutions in our understanding of comets and the solar system. Technology has rapidly been changing over the years with touch feedback known as haptics. New 3D ultrasound research is making haptics able to be seen and felt. A new paper demonstrates a method created to produce 3D haptic shapes that can be felt in midair. This new technology could enable surgeons to explore a CT scan by enabling them to feel a disease, such as a tumor, using haptic feedback. By focusing complex patterns of ultrasound onto hands, the air disturbances can be seen as floating 3D shapes. In the future, holograms of objects could potentially be created of things otherwise not touchable, like materials in a CT scan or rare and delicate artifacts in a museum. This is a great advancement for medical research. Plus, how cool would it be to go to the Louvre and kind of get to touch everything? A new generation of artificial intelligence may come to life with a startup's plan to create new sentient computers. The software for sentient computers, which they are already installing at key customer sites, goes beyond natural language recognition, unstructured searching, machine learning, and deep knowledge. Chief Tech Officer Nigel Duffy said that sentience is about being aware, having perceptions, being mindful, and has implications of autonomy. This new company Skynet, or sorry, Sentient Technologies, has already started showing off their stuff. They've enlisted support from actual users in the field of finance, food and beverage, and real estate for the last seven years quietly showing demonstrations of how artificial intelligence can work for medical research, financial trading, and other big data applications. People can summarize a complex scene in a few words without thinking twice, but that can be a lot harder for computers to manage. Until now. 
Google has developed a machine learning system that can automatically produce captions to accurately describe images the first time it sees them. The new system merges computer vision and language models into a single jointly trained system to produce a human readable sequence of words. It then replaces the recurrent neural network and its input words with a deep convolutional neural network, or CNN, trained to classify objects in images. This could eventually help visually impaired people better understand pictures and make it easier for anyone to search Google for images. Researchers at the Seoul National University have developed a smart skin that is capable of stretching over an entire prosthetic. This skin has an embedded ultra-thin single crystalline silicone nanoribbon. The sensors include pressure and temperature arrays and associated humidity and strain sensors, electro-resistive heaters, and more. The collection of stretchable sensors and actuators facilitate highly localized mechanical and thermal skin light perception in response to external stimuli. This smart skin allows for faster reaction times and better mimics how real skin is able to sense the world around it. A report that uses data from NOAA and NASA has reported 2014 as the hottest year in the planet's history, with land temperatures recorded at 0.86 Celsius degrees over normal. The most striking evidence of warming was in the oceans, however, as the excess heat created by greenhouse emissions typically ends up there. Thanks again to the folks at Futurism for supplying us with this month's biggest news bits. Make sure you check out Futurism online to keep up to date with the latest science and technology news as it happens. The latest in science and technology news, courtesy of our friends at Futurism. So wrong. Tell me what you've been waiting on. I've been catching you singing along with every word I sing. Or well, are you waiting on a hero? Cause I'm standing right in front of you. Whatever you're